Police are investigating an overnight shooting after a man was found dead in a southwest Memphis neighborhood. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shay Simon. Alex is off and April is on assignment. Now neighbors are telling WREG's Jarita Patterson that they knew something was seriously wrong when they saw that the area was swarming with officers. Thursday night under a moonlit sky still visible the morning after is where gunfire erupted. Some neighbors living near Jeter Road were left frozen with fear. Doom, 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 and it will boom, boom, boom. The morning after, this neighbor was unwilling to reveal his identity as he still felt unsettled, he said. For a moment, he wasn't quite sure what he was actually hearing. I thought my stepson was inside playing this game with the speaker on. But it was all too real after not only hearing the attack, but seeing detectives move in. They had like, eventually like eight, nine cars and all the investigators knew about it. It was out here. In order to piece together a case that would resemble the road where it happened as being full of twists and turns. This street, this community is one Adrian Harris knows well as it's where his parents still live. My parents in the 80s. Gotcha. Praise and they God. still married together. Praise God. Amen. Sadly, there is a family torn apart following a shooting that claimed the life of a man, police say. The victim died here at the scene, not far from where these latex gloves were discarded, the kind first responders often wear. When I woke up, I see just flashing lights through the windows. It is here where Mr. Harris and the other neighbors said police responded overnight. Now, this area is surrounded by homes as well as houses of worship. But it's who committed that sinful act they are hoping is caught sooner rather than later. Even with everything that's happened, this is too much death around here. With the morning sunbeams peeking through the trees and the area still blanketed in morning dew, the start of a new day brings with it renewed hope. I wish we can do something about it. For your news leader in Southwest Memphis, Jarita Patterson, WREG, News Channel 3.